Remember when you were a child and had to learn that boring multiplication table? Well now you can relieve your children of this headache. By playing multi-many, your child can learn easily how to multiply up to five, and after mastering the basic principles of multiplication, they can quickly learn the rest of the table. Multi-many box contains unique cards such as these that help to master multiplication visually. See for yourself. We take a card with four transparent window strips, place the card with two strips on top of it, and we have a house with eight windows. Two groups of four windows each, or four groups of two windows. There are two different gameplays for children of different ages and tempers. One gameplay is to practice attentiveness and response speed, and the other gameplay is to practice strategic thinking. Got it version of the game for children five years and older. There are six house cards on the table. The first player takes a card out of the numbers pile, then the players take turns doing the same. The players try to be the first to find two house cards that would create the needed number when combined. Whoever is the first to see such combination has to yell, got it, and cover the number card with his hand. After that, he has to show how the right house will be built, like this. After that, the player takes the number card to his pile to be counted at the end of the game, and the house cards are taken out. Whoever has the most number cards, wins. If the children can count well, whoever has the highest sum of points, wins. Place additional house cards on the table so that there are six again. The next player opens a new number card. To get the right number, a player can make not one, but two houses. For example, to get 15, we build a house with nine windows, three by three, and a house with six windows, two by three. The result is two houses with 15 windows. If a player yells got it, but can't show the right solution in the next three seconds, they miss their next turn as a fine. The game ends when there are no more number cards. If the house pile runs out, reshuffle the cards that were taken out of the game and continue playing. To play with younger kids, use only cards with one, two or three windows and the number cards with numbers up to nine. In the big construction side game, strategy becomes more important. Let's begin. We place a five by five square on a table. This is our warehouse of building blocks. We won't need the other five cards. Place the game token in the center. Next to the warehouse is the construction site. This is where we'll be building the houses from the blocks. Each player gets three number cards, face up. The players go in turns clockwise. During his turn, the player does the following. One, moves the token to the nearby card. Up, down, left or right. The token can't be moved diagonally. If some of the house cards are already played, then the one closest to the game token is considered the nearby card. Two, moves the card from under the game token from the warehouse to the construction site. Three, when the construction site has more than one card, a player tries to solve one of his number cards. Right now, the player can build a house with 15 windows. He puts the number card and the house cards in his pile to be counted at the end of the game. A player can only solve one card during one turn. Just like in the Got It version, the number card can be solved by building not one, but two or three houses and summing up the number of their windows. After completing the turn, a player takes another number card and it's the next player's turn. If the token ends up in a position where it has no nearby cards, a player moves it twice, vertically or horizontally, first to an empty spot and then to the card. The game ends when the remaining blocks can't be used to solve the number cards that the players have. After that, the players count their points by summing up all the number cards. To make the game more challenging, you can put all 30 cards on the table in a 5x6 rectangle. Or you can simplify it by using only house cards with one, two and three windows and number cards with numbers up to nine. In this case, the building blocks are fashioned into a four by four square or four by five rectangle. And that's it, have fun.